Hello, welcome to our channel on YouTube. This video will shortly explain how we did the password in clear text or not experiment. First thing we do is to create a prototype. Once we have logged in, we can create a new prototype. We call it password test, we set the screen size and we click on create. Now we can create a screen, we rename it to login screen, we make sure it's the start screen and we set the background color to blue. We create now a copy of it and rename the copy to success screen. Now we fill the screens with our widgets. We add labels, we add boxes and we add of course also the input fields. Last but not least, we also add a submit button that will be clicked by the user. And of course we link the screens together. So we uh, select the login button, click on it, click on the add link button and connect it to the second screen. We now configure the email box. We make sure the validation type is set to email and that the focus and error styles are correct. Now it's time to configure the password box. We select it and we go to the validation section. We make sure that it's required so the user has to enter a password and we select a validation type as custom. We select as the base type text and we set the text operator to correct match and enter the expected password. Now we click OK. The prototype should be as realistic as possible. Now we select the login button. In the action section, we set the drop down box from the value no validation to all fields are valid. We also set the animation. To make the prototype a little bit nicer, we add an icon to the second screen to give the user some feedback about his success. Once the prototype is ready, you can try it out in the simulator. If you enter, for instance, a wrong email address, the text box will turn red. And if you enter a correct value, it will go back to the normal state. Also, you can only log in if you enter the correct password.